what's up, it's Matthew here in sweet Jamaica. Beautiful morning. I'm up in Hayfield, which is way high up in the hills, kind of close to Moko's place near Bath. And I'm meeting up with a man named Joel, who I heard about online. He's been helping the community here uh, via the Peace Corps, I believe, and was helping revitalize the Kuna Kuna Trail. He was helping get some funding to build some equipment at the school here. They're making a wheelchair ramp, basically doing a whole bunch of good things in the community. But I wanted to come up and meet him and see the project he's working on and, and see what he's up to. So you can see the video about this great house, which is called the uh, Ladyfield Great House, in our hike video. I'll link that below. But uh, hopefully it becomes a lot more accessible for people, thanks to guys like Joel. But it is no joke walking up here. It's super steep. You can see the ocean from here. It's crazy, crazy high. And uh, yeah, Joel and his crew are building the ramp right today. All right, guys. I'm sweating just walking yeah. up the driveway, but this is Joel. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. I'm Joel with Hayfield Accessibility Ramp Project. Uh, if you want to follow us on our project, follow the link down below. Yeah, welcome to Hayfield. So we're at the primary school here, and today is a special day because you just broke ground on a right. project that you've already raised some, right. some funds for. Mm -hmm. A little background information from 2018 to 2020, I was a Peace Corps volunteer here in Hayfield, and we started working on a project, the Accessibility Ramp Project, but because of COVID, the whole thing kind of shut down and we had to kind of put a halt to it. So one day I was at home and I was thinking, all right, why don't I just do the fundraising myself? So that's what I did. So myself and my friend Justin here. Uh, What's up, Justin? What's up, Justin? Yeah. <laughs> so Justin with ProX Production, the two of us, we worked on doing a fundraising campaign and we raised the money. So now we're back in Jamaica and we're working on completing this ramp. So it's in three phases. I'll walk you through real quick. Yeah. yeah. Um, so as you can see, we're digging a hole right here and basically the hole is going to be for our retaining wall. So phase one is build the retaining wall. It's going to be from here. And if you walk around here, you can see all the way up next to the swing set there is going to be the retaining wall. Wow. So yeah, not a small project. Yeah, it's quite a, quite a feat. <laughs> uh, phase two, we're going to build this walkway and you know, in order for wheelchair accessibility, it's got to be a very gradual thing. So uh, we decided to kind of take it out here and all along the retaining wall, we're going to have the wheelchair accessibility ramp run up to there, uh, up next to the bathroom, we'll show you in a second, uh, and then up. And then phase three, we're going to have a fencing company come back in and put a really nice galvanized uh, fence, uh, essentially, cool. all along here so no one falls off and everything's cool. So so yeah, that's, that's kind of the project in a nutshell. Um, you guys came up right at, right around our lunch break, so uh, we'll get to work here shortly. Yeah. yeah. All good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no worries. And how many steps is it to the top? Yeah, it's like no joke walking up to the, uh, yeah, the school Yeah, it's about 31 here. steps. If you guys want to come on up here, you yeah, can see. Yeah, sure. So, it's hard enough for me to make it up there. <laughs> when I get to the top, I get winded myself. Uh -huh. So, yeah, yeah. it's, uh, I think it's about 31 steps the last time I counted to come all the way up and then into the school. Okay. Um, Man, what a spot for yeah. a primary school. It's just, I don't know, the mountain view is yeah. crazy. It's a beautiful view. You can see all the way out there. Uh, there's Morant's Point right there. And if yeah. You, if you look out to the side, you can even uh, see the lighthouse out there. So at night, you can see it kind of spinning around and blinking. Wow. So totally beautiful. And I see Pira Point. I'll, I'll get a close-up of that later, but we were there. There's a guy named Jabuki who opened a restaurant. Oh, cool. Just where the point where that island is. And uh, yeah, we had some beers there the other day it's crazy you can see it so yeah fish cove on the inside yeah, there yeah, and yeah. yeah so so you can see all those places down there yeah, so yeah, yeah it's a beautiful school a uh, little bit small and they don't have a lot of resources so that's why I, I you know kind of wanted to contribute to do whatever I could you know um, but anyways we'll I'll walk you around here so this is a bathroom they had completed about maybe two or three years ago uh, I think it was Food for the Poor came in and contributed this. Uh, oh. And so you can see here in, in the playground here, it's it's <laughs> kind of lacking, you know what I mean? They have a swing set with no swings, a couple of tires down there, but 
you know, the kids always have smiles on their faces. Well, yeah, it looks like it could use some assistance, maybe fixing that up too. Yeah, hopefully we can put a link down below if you want to help build up the primary school here a little bit more and to help them get some, you know, better equipment to, to play around and get exercise on. And I don't know, what type of stuff do you think they'd want, Joel? I think really anything. Um, I mean, the simplest thing is even getting a swing set on that thing. So mm -hmm. that could be a start, but there's all kinds of cool things, jungle gyms and, and monkey bars and all those kind of things, you know, just anything uh, I think would help because right now the money is, is stretching. So we have enough just to finish that. And if we have extra, we can look into doing the project but all right so i guess i'll show you the the ending part of the ramp right here yeah well this is the ramp's going all the way oh yeah. all the way around whoa yeah so <laughs> so you can see right down here is where the retaining wall is going to end and they're going to start building the ramp from here coming up to here and then it's going to meet the school right here nice so it worked out almost perfectly that everything was level enough that you know, we don't have to do any major switchbacks or anything because yeah, that yeah. could hamper the project to make it even a bigger project than it already is. But this is already a serious project because yeah. if it's going all the way down here, you got to dig that channel all the way down back to where we were sitting over there. We got some Gunga growing right here. Oh, yeah. Interesting. And Joel, I. I first heard about you because Moko told me about you. Oh yeah. Because of the hike me and to a place called, it used to be called, well, he refers to it as Slavery House. Okay. And then I found out right. through you that mm -hmm. you've done some research and met some local people right, who knew about right. it. And I'm like, oh, this guy knows what's going on. It's yeah. called Ladyfield. And it was yeah. a coffee plantation. Like it mm -hmm. was so mysterious to me, but how did you get involved with, um, with that great house and kind of letting people know about that? Cause you've been involved with, in, sort of helping the community get set up some tours and Definitely. stuff? Definitely. Yeah. yeah, so that's the mission. We're trying to get the community to a point where they can facilitate tours to the Great House. And so basically, uh, like I was saying, I was a Peace Corps volunteer. I was up here in the community, living, working, and actively with the community. Uh, that was one of their points. They wanted to work and develop in that area. So yeah, so being up here, the Ladiesfield Great House was one of the active uh, areas to be developed, right? So they have Ladiesfield Great House, Kuna Kuna Trail, and they have another one called the Grampian Great House, which is uh, rather difficult to get to right now. Ah, I've heard about it, but I Very don't know cool, anything man. about it. Yeah. yeah, all right, so I can I can set you up with a link and they can carry you down there. It's, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. So anyways, the idea is that this could be a hub for hiking in the Blue and John Crow Mountains. The Blue Mountains are over here, the John Crow Mountains are over here. Mm -hmm. So basically the idea is how do we get the, the tourism into this area? Community tourism is what St. Thomas is moving towards. Um, not necessarily like the big sandals type of development, but community tourism. You go into the community, you know, have some local food, go on some hikes. So yeah, to answer your question, how did I get involved with Ladiesfield Great House? Well, it's just kind of always there. You know, it was one of the assets that we kind of identified when I came into the community. So we've just been working on that. Um, I have to give a shout out to the JCDT uh, for helping us, TPDCO, JNHT, uh, you know, all of these big Jamaican um, groups that are coming into the community to help us out as well as the community themselves you know i in the grand scheme of things i did very little it was the community that was coming together um to work on this and and so that's why i love hayfield you know it's a really tight community and, and people are working on on doing the project and so. I, I feel you 100 percent on the tourism mm -hmm. to st thomas because i feel like we're on that exact same tip it's such a there's so much potential here mm -hmm. there's so many great people there's beautiful places Absolutely. that are off the track yeah people can go do the resort thing if they want to mm -hmm. and then you know, people that want a little different experience or a more local experience can come do a tour of the Great House with a Hayfield local. Absolutely, or yeah. can, can stay at Moko's Yard mm -hmm. or can go visit the Crocodile Place. Or can right, yeah. Just, there's so many unique opportunities here and potential for this to really become a hub mm -hmm. in a cool way. Like yeah, for, yeah. for travelers instead of tourists type thing. Exactly, That's yeah. what I'm feeling. So I was really stoked when I saw what you were doing. and Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I appreciate it the same way, man. You're kind of helping me out in where the areas I don't have skills, which is, you know, creating these videos to uh, hype up the tourism that, you know, in the back we're trying to work on developing this tour. So, so yeah, Ladiesfield Great House has been there for a long time. We've had a couple work days where we went down there, cleaned up the trail, cleaned up the area, 
So that's one. Kuna Kuna Trail is amazing. Definitely check that out. Yeah, um, I need yeah. to do a full-on video of that where you hike For all sure. the way from St. Thomas to Moortown mm -hmm. in uh, Portland, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, you can go all the way back. Uh, there's there used to be cabins up there, Ambassador cabins in wow. Novak. Yeah, so. no way. So that one's cool. So um, yeah, just a little information about that, but. Let's go check in on the uh, workers. Yeah, and see let's see what's how going it's going. I'm good. I'm Matthew. Man. I'm Sheikh Suno. Sheikh, very yes, cool man. to meet you. Yes, man. Are you local here? Yes, man. Born and grew around here in Wetingo, our place. Man. Yes, man. Well, you got a beautiful spot, and uh, yeah, it's cool to see it coming along. So, mm -hmm. yeah, how did you get going on this project here? I tell you the truth, you know. Nice, as you can see, where they're red and pretty. So, me and the team just do the thing the right way. We kind of move local fast, still, as you can see, but. We want to finish it in quick time. Man, if it's coming along in one day... Oh, I God, mean, that's, man. That would yeah. be good. But you have to just rest some time. We're not even eat lunch yet. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. And how long do you think it's going to take to complete this ramp? All right. We want to finish by tomorrow because it depends on the time we didn't give away. Finish by tomorrow? Yeah. Well, for the finish the retaining wall, yeah, like the digging part. Okay. Yeah. That you can steal up and cast out and stuff like that. Yeah. Yes, man. Yeah, so we're and and the, I saw the playground needs a little bit of work too. Oh, oh I mean, Something going on for the kids, but uh, what, what kind of things do the kids like here? You got a, they got footballs and everything up there. No, for you? you know, it's kids with a glad for that. Cause yeah. the end of the day, as you see, we're not team of a proper playing ground here, but you know, you yeah. can fix up. And yeah. the kids then can enjoy themselves up and down, but you know, they have to be careful because you see place, kind of steep. <laughs> kick the ball off the mountain pretty easy too, I guess. Yes, man. Kick ball far, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, so to over this way, you know? Yeah. And the road's a bit rough too. How long does it take to walk down all the way to Bath if you had to? Depends, man. Oh, you move like uh, me, you know, as you me strong. <laughs> yeah. It takes me less than half an hour, you know? Yes, less man. Less than half an hour? Yes, Seven man. Quick and fast, wow. man. Wow. Mm -hmm. 7K? Mm -hmm. Okay. Might take me a couple hours, I don't know. Yes, depends on how you walk, as I said earlier. Like yeah. I mean, oh, quick, fast. Yeah. One phone call, I'm gone. Less than 25 minutes, 30. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, blessing, yeah. man. And big up yourself. Hey, big that? up. Big up. Bless right. up. Cool. Right. So, this is, uh, you know, Ross Moko. This is his brethren. Yeah. 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 Moko, my brethren. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. How far does it take to get to Moortown from here if you're walking? Because I heard the Kuna Kuna Trail goes yeah, right okay. from the. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you go to. You go, you go Portland about, hopefully about 20 miles. So a bit of a hike. Mm. But truly it's about 7 miles. Mm. Mm. 13, about 13 more go down. Yeah. So, so I want to take a journey. <laughs> yeah, well someday. Mm. Yeah. I'll have to come back because this trip I'm running out of time. But uh, yeah. I was always really curious about the Ladyfield Great House because yeah. Moko always told me about it. The mm. first time I was here 12 years ago, we hiked to it. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but I didn't know anything about it. So about it, yeah. growing up, what did you guys hear about the place? Did you hear stories about it or? Well, we only know so, we know, only know so, it's a slavery building, like, you know? That's what he referred to it as. Yeah. He just called yeah. it Slavery House. Yeah. We yeah. didn't know the name of the place or the state or what was growing. We didn't know any details. But yeah. did you hear up? Grow up hearing any stories about it or the his history behind it, anything like that? It's supposed to be money down there, don't it? Yeah, I think they I think them say money, 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 money buried there, you know. Uh, yeah. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, I think they say money buried, but buried. There. Uh, one, one man did one time did a try to get it and in, in dead. Mm. No. Mm -hmm. I heard people used to live out there too because yeah, yeah. at some point they mm. turned it into a shelter mm. and mm. and were staying up there and. Well, I'm excited to see how this place turns out after all this yeah. this hard work you guys are putting in. So, <laughs> yeah, man. bless up, wish you all the best, and yeah, yeah hopefully, you can get the playground sorted out a bit yeah, more man. too. So, all right, respect. Yes, yeah, respect. Yeah. Cool. All right, Joel. So we're heading up another hill, mm -hmm. yeah. even higher, and we're off to meet uh, Mr. Dean. Was it? Yes. So, uh, well, first we're gonna go check in on the food, see how that's cooking, um, and then we're gonna go talk with Mr. Dean who is um, really knowledgeable about Hayfield community, history, Kuna Kuna Trail and Ladies Field. So we'll check in with him and see if we can get some information from him. Awesome. Oh man, this, this hill is rough. <laughs> yeah, we're getting up so high, the John Crows are flying at eye level. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Speaking of John Crow, that's the John Crow Mountain right there. Oh, that's it. Yeah. 
All right, so welcome. This is uh, where they're cooking all the food, so we'll carry you inside real quick and you guys can see, uh, see them on the boats. All right, Jermaine, you carry them through? So this is Jermaine's house here. Hey, Jermaine. Hey. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. So let's go to I can the come inside, room. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Nice and cool. How are you, I'm Matthew? Hello, sir. Hello, nice to meet you. Yeah. How's everything? Oh, yeah, flour ranch. Oh. So, this is a dead chicken. Whoa, okay. This is a dead chicken. You want to tell them about this morning? What happened to this chicken? So, this chicken this morning was used to kill by the school. This blo the blood uh -huh. was spilled on the soil. As a. Uh, it's a thing. When you're a big enough. Tradition. Tradition. You okay. have to follow. Maroon tradition. Maroon. So, this is the chicken. So, this chicken can be eaten. When it's picked and cleaned up, I this see. is the dead chicken. I so is that is that a part of the ritual for when you're doing a new construction? Yeah, is that yeah. So help the for help yes, for good vibes. Did, so we have the curry chicken here. Wow, <laughs> nice. That so, is the chicken. Is that nice already? <laughs> That's the curry chicken. Yeah. And watch it again. And this is the corn stove, Jamaican corn stove. Ah yes, tuna for real. What's you, this is where you get the rice to go on, I'm guessing? Yeah, this is of the rice pot. Rice and peas. Oh, white, white rice. rice. Nice. This one here is a boiled dumpling. So you got lucky for everyone who's working hard to get a nice, nice meal. Yeah. Awesome. And we got Puss Puss hanging out. Are you waiting <laughs> for a piece of chicken to fall? <laughs> hey Puss Puss. Meow. So yeah, at least if they're working hard in the sun, they get a nice, a nice meal to keep going and. Yeah. Yep. Go down where so? Yeah, we are the chicken. This is a pretty big chicken weighing in at uh, five pounds. Six. Five pounder. Five and a half pounds. You go by the bar feed already, Mr. Dino, by the bar feed. You go over there? Okay, you can chat to him and go around. Is this one of the youth thing chicken now? Mm -hmm. Oh. So we are watching them this one. Alright. For the guys there, you know? Yeah, whenever you're ready, because I think they're, they're, they're ready to... Are you done? Yep. They got a buzz on, they're ready for lunch. Yeah, yeah, they, they need some food because they've been drinking the rum since morning, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that's hey, that's how you get work done, yeah, right? right? Yeah, A little white rum and water doesn't doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm. Good <laughs> job. Thank you, guys. Appreciate All right. it. Thank you. Uh, All right, see you. Yeah. All right. Well, why? You don't ask Let me get the bit from shop for you, Joe. So this, yeah, yeah. Is, this is my production crew over there. The, they're teaching a <laughs> local how to use the camera. Pull and focus. This is my camera, yeah. Oh, oh you're zooming. This is my camera. <laughs> oh, they can't do that. <laughs> production assistant in the making, or director in the making. Hello. Hello. What happens if I zoom in? <laughs> <laughs> what is nice. going on here? All right. This is the man up here. This is the man, okay. See, I'm very interested to meet Mr. Dean because I have so many questions about this great house. And Ben, I'm sure you do as well since... Yeah, I would love to get some information. I'm excited. Because I'm sure you were there probably 20 years ago, your first time here. Did he take, yeah, did Marco I've, take I've been you up, up there? Yeah, a couple times, yeah, on my old trips and just went yesterday. Oh, amazing. Back again. So oh. I'm excited to learn some more information. Me too. As we thought it was a different great house we found information about, so... So this, this is also... Um, the football field. This is where we play football and cricket yeah. and everything. So yeah, yeah, Mr. Dean, I, when I went to the house, I was years. so surprised because I had been there years and years before and it was nothing overgrown. And the last time I went, it was had this amazing um, bench built, big table, nice bamboo for people to chill on. It was, it was amazing. So. Yeah, so I see when you're coming up, up the chill with, with, with the, the, little, the yeah. little youth, Me and Ratty, 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 Ratty. Yeah. and those one and coming up, I'm mean, going show them all along the way, because those those is the place where we used to walk, go to Sunning Hill and come up. That was the so, way. So, we, as we build the, the trail, come out from out there, and when, when it come up and muck wash, we say, the road go out there, so, that it come out at the big corner where you, you see some sign out there. Uh -huh. Yes, and all those cities we build them through SDC, TDV Co. Yes. Got some and, sponsors and. Yes, and Renaissance and Foundation. So as we build them and come up and come up, so when, when I up the US and my daughter know she feel proud to see the things they want to know say well is in our community. And I'm saying to to them, say look at Moko now how we build the, the bench them and, and all those things. So so we go around the back and cut off some of those trees and see yeah, the, yeah. the side of it. 
Yes, and build this the road come out and put sign around the now. So when you when you go on the now, you know, if you wonder where it is now, you can see some sign put yeah, up there. Some idea. Because it was such a hidden gem and it'd be lovely to just to share with other people know more history about it. Because when I first went there, I had no idea even the name of it. And it was through your guys' uh, work that I was able to see, oh, this is called the Ladyfield Great House. And this is a coffee plant. I just had no idea, right? Yes. So that is the name and, and it originally was a coffee place? Yeah, that I, I understand. Because even when Moko said to you, said to you say, when you come up to your field and you go down to Sandy level and go through the Kunukuno Kuno part, I mean, they don't know where I watched your video and how you're talking and say, look at it. I'm square over here so no one still see the work that we're doing. Beautiful yes. work. Yeah, man. Yeah. So what's plans next for it? For, for, it, you know, for the great house there or bringing more awareness? I heard you yes. started to do tours here yet? Yes. yes. In the same time, because what we were doing, because Moko, like when you know, him came over with him, people, him, mm -hmm. him come and go over there, so um, go to the Kuno Kuno part, go to Moritown. So we were trying to set up a rest stop up there. So. Nice. But we never get to the church. Didn't we give the land, my grandparents gave the land to the church for over 60 years, then leave, then leave from there. And we asked them back to build a rest stop, but we didn't get it back from them. They said, what do you give to the diocese? The diocese don't give it back. So what we do now, right up on the top here, so, we were trying to build a place up here, so, but it never worked out. So the teachers cut it down there now, because we get a fund to do some, a project, and the rest of but we, too, we didn't get it. Now, so we asked for the cottage to be used as a community center. So we asked the people now with the project, if they use the money that we did have to build the rest of we furnish the, the building on so, so if you right. go, if you go down at the cottage, you know, you see how we finish it up to oh, up to Saturday. Now we go there and we wash it all, we paint it up. And cool. it's wonderful, you know. It's great. So, yeah, there's so much opportunity for yeah people to come and learn about this place and have a bit of guidance from locals and hopefully yes. bring more people in the community here to. Because all right, right where we we, we are here, we are at a special place, you know. Because we are here about the Blue and Janka Mountain. Yeah. Where is, the, where is the Junker Mountain? Where is the Junker Mountain? Where is it? Yeah. Right behind us there. Yeah, see and then here? Blue Mountain that way. And right? the Blue Mountain, go yeah. that way. So what, in our time, like when we were smaller, we used to go through the, the wood and go to Millbank and go and over there and buy food from over there and carry to over here and carry to Bart and, and go to market. What, did they have better food in Moortown or what? No. <laughs> no. What no bank, no bank, ah. What happened, you know, with, with Portland and St. Thomas? Portland is the last parish, you know, because they take a part of a St. Thomas and a part of a St. Mary and build Portland. So the, right through the, the district there, through the, the part there, a whole heap of people that live in the Kunu Kunu Pass and up in a part they call Bowden Pen. Mm -hmm. So they used to travel, come over here and go to market on a bat or or what you call it, Golden Grove, Port Marant. Mm -hmm. So this is the way. And how you the name, you get the Kuno Kuno Pass. Like when the British and the Maroon were fighting. So when they come up a the part, they call look out. And then, because they could talk back with the Habeng and whatever. And they would say, then Kuno Kuno Pass. That means they then couldn't pass. They couldn't because, pass. Because <laughs> That's they're, great. They are coming. <laughs> what a name for the main trail yeah. to go from St. Thomas to Portland. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I almost thought it was a Portuguese name at first because Cunha, like with the H, yeah. almost sounds like a Portuguese name. Okay. That's funny. Kuna Kuna. <laughs> because, <laughs> because this trail you know, is from, we did travel with Paul Bogle. So we travel to from Stony Gut, come up to, to Pilot and over the Part there and come down through Sun Hill and come up through Ladysville and come right through here and go through the Kunu Kunu Pass. So we they say when he was traveling, he would show his ass back and forward. So you would know which way he go. Because you will see the shoe turn back and it turn. Uh. Yes. So he's with it all Miss Hatog and when 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 I get try to get the heritage site. So he's up here, then come and work with me and we try and get the, get it turned the National Heritage Site now. Awesome. So, yeah, that's so good. Like even up here, so now. 
up here so now is the district, but at first, because it's the cemetery up here so. This cemetery we do on Pierre Fiberi. We do on Pierre Fiberi, like how you just say they had a cemetery them. Because you just call this now like it's a maroon cemetery. So you do on Pierre Fiberi. But at first, why you just see it right in the middle of the district? When the maroon them, when they run away, they follow the river. So they normally down in the valley. So I then take time and come up from the valley and come up on, on the top. So that's why you just see the, the burn going up here. So you see, like you have one family like the Thompson and other family give here so for be the the play field. You have the helis then give up there so to be the the symmetry. And you have the Bennett then give round so to be the, the school and the cottage. And you have the dean give over there so to be the the church. Cause you have the Anglican church up here first. Till afterward now when our oh, 53 storm, mash it down now. So after that now, then be the, the government be the school on it. So. Nice. Well, I'm excited to come back and do another hike with a guide and yeah. get the full on experience. Not that it wasn't a full on experience from before, but it's just nice. It's really cool for me to know the history and hear the stories and, and the details. And I, yeah, I definitely never knew it was, that's why it was called the Kuna Kuna Pass. It's, yeah. That's amazing. Well, thanks for talking to us today. Okay, sir. Yeah, we'll head yeah. back to the school. I'm yeah. sure we'll meet again for sure. So. Yes, sir. And just up there, so I'm living All right. All right, great so great spot. Time, we'll circle back, go onto the roof, and see if we can yes. look out. And... No, if, if you came up on the roof, you know, and, he, and he take a look right around. Mm -hmm. Yes, so you can't care for me. All right. Because nice to meet you. He's my son. He said, I'm my son. So I don't think I'll. All right, Mr. Lee. Yes. All right. This, this burn ground, every Christmas Eve, community come out and build this. If you run up this side, if you notice, you run up this side, we have a, a lot of these tombs. Because at first, we never used to bury people. We used to call around as a stranger burying ground. Mm. Yes, but now, they start to build it around. So, if you come around this side now, you would see all these places now. Plenty of these places below. Bury out already. Wow. With the original person them that time, they never used to use concrete. This tree is looking incredible, man. Wow. These are That's an old, old, old tree. No, this is it's not a old tree no. This is the vine that took over the tree. <laughs> yes. They then call it catchman fig. Yeah. So they say him, him come and build bigger catch. So have time bigger catch now. It suffocate the, the other tree. Suffocate the tree and took over. Yeah. Like if you see, see, this, see this tree. That's, so that's, that's the original? Yes. And now the, vi the, yeah. the vine is grown taller than the tree. Oh, yeah, and, and suffocate it. Wow. These are get, some hands and call them cup cup. Yeah. Like cut. Okay, I'm staying away then. Yeah. So all these, all these trees here. Yeah. All these trees here. Well, it's a big area, so there's tombs under here too. Yeah. You can see, you can see this corner. Yeah, yeah. Because this corner you to use and build it. Wow, there's so much. That's wild. And that is where I live. Yeah. That is where I live. Nice. That is my also. Beautiful spot. Wow, it's huge. It's a lot bigger than I expected. I thought it was yeah. just that first section. And then... Oh, okay. These are all stones too. Wow. Getting like maccas in my foot. <laughs> but that time you never used to use too much. Yeah, they weren't marked. It was just. When I said six feet. <laughs> six feet. Yeah. This is the school doggy? Yeah. Hey, bud. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, man, he's cool. <laughs> no, I'm not petting him anymore. Yeah, well, first off, I just want to thank you, Matthew, uh, for coming up and kind of shedding light on this project. It's, it's a community that really comes together, and everybody was working on it to get it to the point where it is here. So 
I uh, just want to thank everyone who's contributed through our GoFundMe so far. I want to thank the deans for hosting me up here, the school, Ms. Ramakan, Ms. Samuels, Ms. Smith, all the teachers, Ms. 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 Cargill, everybody up here who's helping us, uh, St. Thomas Renaissance, who's been a big part with that too, and everyone in Hayfield, Castle Hill, St. Thomas is the best parish, so yeah, yeah. now that I got my big ups <laughs> out of the way, um, if you are interested, you're watching this video, you feel compelled, you can help us out. Um, Something we need help with is that playground. You guys saw how kind of run down it is. And so our, our money will only get us so far. We can repair the retaining wall, the sidewalk ramp, as well as the fence. But if you guys feel inclined, um, we'll, we'll post a link down here or maybe reach out to Matthew and, and he'll connect you. I don't know. I don't know the best way, but yeah. we'll figure out a we'll way that, out that, 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 you can, yeah, that you can help out with this project. Um, some of our links are on Instagram, it's hayfield.ramp, at hayfield.ramp. Our Facebook is Hayfield Accessibility Ramp Project. And you can also follow us at hayfieldramp.com. So that is our website. We got all the information there, ways that you can follow us or uh, contribute to the project. So just want to give one final thank you. And if you are interested, come out to St. Thomas. It's the best parish in Jamaica. We got so much heritage, so much culture, so much history. You know, Matthew's been doing a good job uh, showing you all. And this could be you. Come to Jamaica, try it out for yourself. Come to Ladiesfield, come to Kuna Kuna, come up to Hayfield. Uh, people here are nice, they'll treat you well. Oh, yeah. So yeah, so thank you. Um, and then lastly, if you guys want to follow me and see what I'm doing, you can follow me on Instagram at Tree City Traveler. Thank you, know. Joel. Yeah. I appreciate it so much. It's right very on. cool to meet you, and I, and I have much respect for what you're doing cool. in the community here mm -hmm. and building up people. And I, I, I don't know. There's so much potential in St. Thomas that yeah. uh, is untapped, and it's really bringing in you know the travelers mm -hmm. compared to the tourists. And there's just so many great people and interesting things to see. And I, I hope over the next few years and going forward that more people get to experience this place because i agree yeah. it's, it's one of my favorite parishes in Definitely, jamaica man. and you know and so much potential so it's right. up to you for for helping yeah man all right cool cool see you thanks man Go.